breaking news tonight. The White House is grieving. Word is just coming out that the vice president's son, Bo Biden, has died from brain cancer. Trained as a lawyer, he had served in the National Guard and was a decorated veteran of the Iraq War. He also served as Delaware's attorney general for eight years, and he had talked about running for governor of that state in 2016. Bo Biden was an original. He was a good man, a man of character, a man who loved deeply and was loved in return. I believe we need a moonshot in this country to cure cancer. It's personal. But I know we can do this. The president and I have already been working hard on increasing funding for research and development because there are so many breakthroughs just on the horizon in science and medicine. The things that are just about to happen. And we can, uh, we can make them real with an absolute national commitment to end cancer as we know it today. I'm really thrilled that I could be here at the official launch of this very important project, ACR Project Genie. ACR Project Genie is a data sharing collaboration between seven hospitals and cancer centers in the US, Canada, and Europe all of whom have made significant investments in using tumor genome sequencing, what we call clinical sequencing. You know, last year, Vice President Biden said that with a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. Last month, he worked with this Congress to give scientists at the National Institutes of Health the strongest resources that they've had in over a decade. Well, so tonight I'm announcing a new national effort to get it done. And because he's gone to the mat for all of us on so many issues over the past 40 years, I'm putting Joe in charge of mission control. For the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. What do you say, Joe? Make it happen. Yesterday, I met with the world's leading cancer specialist, assembled here at Davos to talk about how we're at, we all agreed we're at an inflection point in the fight against cancer. We're on the cusp of many new and anticipated breakthroughs, enabled by enormous advances in computing power, big data sharing in real time, a billion, billion calculations per second that allow for early diagnoses, vaccines on the horizon to, to potentially prevent cancer, personalized life-saving treatments, bringing us one step closer to ending cancer as we know it. <laughs> 